Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you found what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I want to share some information with you all about doing cylinder head jobs, removing these cam covers, cams, whatever. If you're taking a head out of one of these Volvos or uh, doing a timing belt job or something like that on these Volvos, especially the Volvos with the RN motor. There's some things you need to know because I'm getting a lot of messages from people that are digging in and then calling me later and it's just a sad story, you know. So let me uh, kind of explain a few things to you. Hopefully you won't get in trouble. These white block Volvos, these are Volvos built after uh, 1999 and later many of them have coil packs on them uh, some don't 850s don't couple of the SN V70 early ones don't at any rate uh, you have some of these cars that have VVT hubs on them and if they have VVT hubs on them that's a whole nother level of creature that you have to deal with let me get this timing belt cover off and show you a couple things real quick. Very first thing you need to know, acknowledge, understand, and obey is this isn't an old school engine. This is new high tech technology. So don't come at this like it's a 1973 Chevrolet because it's not. This thing has all kind of nice fancy technology in it. One of these special features that Volvo decided to do 1999 and newer was to put variable timing on these cars. But just to back up a little bit, I want to tell you, do not think that you're going to time this engine putting any piston at top dead center. These cars are not designed like that. Don't come at them like that. Don't call me, send me text messages, emails, none of that stuff. With anything in there that says anything about you raised the piston to top dead center. Now you don't know what's wrong. These cars are timed by marks. They put the engine in sync. They put the cam down there, sprocket on a mark. You may or may not be able to see it down there. Then they install these cams, put these things in sync, in their right time and position, and then they mark them. You could do the same thing. But I'm telling you, that's what they did. So, if you're going to do anything with these cars, messing with the timing, or taking the head apart, learn how to time them by the marks. It's not top dead center. I don't even want to hear it. It's a sad song. Please don't call me, text me, nothing talking about that top dead center. Next, when you're dealing with the timing on these vehicles, you need to lock the cams, especially on the ones that are newer than 1998. If you're taking either one of these cam sprockets off, you can wing it if the car is older than 99. But if the car has one of these VVT hubs on there, don't even try to wing it. Don't send me no message about you took one of these cylinder heads apart. You did not have the proper cam locking tool that goes back here on the back of the engine. And now you want me to lead you through getting it right. I got a couple of links in the comment section that might help you. If it's a white block engine and both of the cam sprockets look like this, it's considered an end motor. If it's a white block engine and you see a VVT hub on it, any position, it's probably considered an R end motor. So you need to understand timing and locking the cams in position. The cam locking tool that I have and use, I got from Swedish Car Parts. It's supposed to be a quality tool. Volvo makes a quality tool, a couple others do. A lot of people 
are trying to buy these 25 35 45 dollar tools and they're trying to use those tools to lock their cams now those cheap tools i'm sure you've heard the term you get what you pay for i'm getting calls of people that use the tool locked up their cams got everything loose when they went to put everything back the tool broke while they were trying to put things back cheap garbage tool broke on them got it from amazon got it from ebay whatever get you a quality tool man a quality tool was under 200 bucks if you got to do anything to lock these cams in that's a thousand dollar job at the shop a two hundred dollar tool is an expense that sometimes you got to eat to do the job right then if you get a good tool you can use it several times a cheap tool may not make it through the first time get your decent tool if you want to borrow mine i will loan you mine you just need to send me the money to cover it and when you get it back to me i'll refund your money i'd rather you have the right tool to do the job than to bust it up and then call me now, if you're about to do a cylinder head replacement job and you see one of these VVT hubs, you need to slow down. Like I said, get the right tool, lock the back of the cams before you start taking this stuff apart. I see somebody is taking this apart because it's got the wrong sealant in there. They couldn't stop that from leaking with that. Besides that, they also busted up the timing belt tensioner. So this thing may not even be running at all. Look like they put cheap aftermarket timing belt parts on here. This car is probably in here because somebody jacked up the timing. Anyway, if the car has solid lifters, you need to keep the lifters in order. If you don't keep the lifters in order, when you get done, the vehicle will need a valve adjustment probably trash the motor if you don't have a valve adjustment it won't run right it just won't outlined in my other videos if you look down here at the head and you see these screw holes along both sides of the cylinder head front and back those holes is how they access and make sure this thing has a proper valve adjustment if you see those holes, those screws, going in there on an the angle, this car has solid lifters. If the vehicle has solid lifters, you pull this cam cover off, you pull the cams out, you will then be faced with those solid lifters. Keep those lifters in order. If you don't, the car's not going to run right. If you don't see those access holes, there's a chance that the car will have hydraulic lifters. If it has hydraulic lifters, you don't have to have them in order. So in the video I did, I mentioned that you could keep them in order. It wasn't necessary. That car had hydraulic lifters. The ones that have solid lifters have to be kept in order or the car will need a valve job. You can only do a valve job with the head off. So don't do all this work mix those up and then come back looking for uh, instructions on why it won't run right after you've mixed up these uh, lifters and now the car needs a valve job a lot of these cars have different configurations of these hubs this is a solid uh, camshaft gear this is what was used from 90 uh, to all the way through 98 a million cars use them in their engines there's nothing special about it this right here is a variable timing cam sprocket if you have one of those on there your engine in your Volvo is considered an RN motor they started putting RN motors in in 1999 and newer like I said there's several configurations Hub on the exhaust cam, hub on the intake cam, whatever it is. If you're going to take one of those hubs loose to fix an oil leak, you need to have the proper cam locking tool on the back of the engine. Or you're probably going to mess something up, destroy somebody's engine. 
I don't know what else I can say about that. If you're only doing the timing belt job, you can get the top cover that goes on the front of here. There's videos linked in the comments below tell you how to set the timing before you pull a belt off. As you can see, somebody put a red mark here. Somebody put a red mark there. On these engines with the VVT hubs engines post 98. With any of these configuration of these hubs, the timing mark is normally 12 o'clock. Comes straight up here. It aligns with the notch in the cover. Align that timing. If you're only doing the timing belt and you're not taking one of these hubs loose, some of these hubs are spring-loaded, so you may or may not struggle putting that belt back on. If you put the cam locking tool on the back, it's easy to wrestle with it, get the belt back on. Some companies sell a front cam locking tool that when you set your timing right, you can install this tool on the cams, goes in something like this, and that will hold the cams still while you remove the belt, replace the rollers, replace the water pump, stuff like that. Then, when you're ready to put the belt on, the cams are locked in place and you can put the belt back on. Again, set the timing before you do that. That way, if something happens, you at least know the crank is on the mark. And then you could deal with putting the cams on the mark. I don't know if I can say this enough times. If you find that you need to break the bolt loose on one of these VVT hubs, install the cam locking tool that goes on the back of the engine. If you don't, you're probably going to mess something up. You're probably going to send me a message, call me, send me a text. I did link videos in the comments section of this video to try to help you, but, you know, you really need to lock the cams on these cars newer than 1998. If you got any questions, go ahead and post. I hope somebody answers it. Um, other than that, there's a bunch of links and a bunch of other videos that I did on timing. Go to my uh, homepage here on YouTube, search timing, and they'll all come up. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.